Hey guys, today I'm going to take you through how to install your race face 30mm cinch crank set onto your mountain bike. The tools you require for this operation are a Park DBT 22 or 32 bottom bracket tool, a 2mm Allen key and an 8mm Allen key. So the first thing you'll need to do is to install your chosen chainring configuration onto your right hand crank arm if it's not already installed. So to do this, we go to the back side of the crank arm and we will remove this lock ring, which should just be finger tight as it comes in the box. You then take your chosen chainring configuration, which will either consist of one of our cinch spiders with chain rings bolted onto it, or a direct mount race face cinch chain ring. Both of these chain rings will have exactly the same interface in the middle, which slots onto that right hand crank arm interface. So you take your chosen chain ring, slot it on, and loosely thread the lock ring on. Be careful here that the threads go unevenly. Then we need to torque this up. We take our Park BBT22 or 42 bottom bracket tool, and ideally using a vise. If you don't have a vise, you can use a wrench on these flats here, or you can use a square driver socket in the back side of the tool. And we're going to torque that lock ring up to 40 newton meters. And there you go, that's your chainring installed. Ready to go. Now that you've installed your chainring onto your drive side crank arm, we're going to install the crank set into the frame. So you should already have a race face 30 millimeter BB installed in your frame. This BB will come with two dust caps. You take one of these dust caps and with the riding facing outwards, you install that onto your non-drive crank and spindle assembly. You push that all the way down until it touches onto the uh, preloader here. We're then going to take this and install it into our frame. Just firmly push that in. As you can see there, just check everything is spinning freely and there's no drag or anything unusual going on. The next stage is to take the other dust cap and again, writing facing outwards, install that onto the spindle. We then lightly grease the exposed interface. We take our fully assembled right hand crank with chain ring and we take our 8mm Allen key and we're going to simply locate the crank arm onto the interface just with our fingers and you'll see that I can actually turn the crank a little bit because the interface is engaged. If it wasn't engaged you can see it won't turn. So you're getting a bit of turn and you want to make sure your cranks are 180 degrees separated. You then take the longer end of the Allen key and just holding that crank nice and perpendicular to the spindle interface you want to turn and you'll feel the threads start to engage and pull the crank onto the spindle. So we go like this until the crank becomes snug. We then are going to flip ends on the Allen key. I'm going to torque this right up to 15 Newton meters. At this point, it's a good idea to put your chain on. If this is a one by chain setup, then it's pretty easy. You're just going to drop that onto your narrow wide, making sure the plates of the chain line up to the narrow wide tooth profile. If you have a two by, you just have to be a bit more mindful of your front derailleur being there as well. The final stage to install this crank is to tighten the preloader against our BB bearings to remove any play from the system. So the first thing we do is we pull the crank in the non-drive direction so that all the free space is on this side of the assembly. We then, just using our fingers, turn this lock ring. And we just turn that gently until it becomes finger tight against the bottom bracket bearings. No tighter than that. That should be enough to remove any play from your BB. You then take your two millimeter Allen key and you locate the part of the preloader that has the split and the bolt. You take the long end of your two millimeter and you, 
you turn that two millimeter Allen key inwards till that gap closes. No further than that. That's all that's required to keep the lock ring in place. And there you go, that's your crank ready to go.